The mayor of Spokane is trying to limit where people are allowed to put up tents in the city. Yesterday, the mayor announced proposed changes to the city's camping ordinance, and it hasn't been updated since 2019. That's when cities could no longer prohibit camping on city-owned public property because there wasn't enough shelter space. Now the goal was to give people experiencing homelessness another option. City Council recently announced its version of proposed changes, but the mayor says she wants to take it further. Both proposals have some similarities, both, but the mayor's proposal would expand enforcement to within a half mile of city supported shelters and within the boundaries of the business improvement district and downtown police precinct. That ordinance uh, proposal does not go far enough. Uh, it has some of the elements of this proposal, but it does not include the downtown uh, bid district or the police precinct biz, uh, district. And that's where we want to be able to see enforcement and improvement. The mayor says her proposal is a compromise of city council's request, but the city council president there, Brianne Beggs, says yesterday's press conference was the first he'd heard of her ideas. He says adding more enforceable areas will make the ordinance unconstitutional, putting serious limits on where people can go. And he believes the mayor's recommendation could push tents further into residential neighborhoods. And he's not the only one concerned with the mayor's proposal. Kyle Simchuk from our sister station in Spokane talked to a criminal defense attorney who says the city could end up in a tangled mess of court cases. You may have heard about the case of Martin v. Boise before, so what does it actually mean for communities? In 2009, six homeless people in Boise sued the city after they were cited and some of them jailed for sleeping on public property when they had nowhere else to go. A district court ruled in favor of the city of Boise, but the case would go all the way to federal court. In 2018, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that cities could not enforce public camping laws if they didn't have enough shelter beds available. The ruling set a precedent for nine western states, including Washington. It greatly limited the ability of police to arrest somebody for sit-lie uh, on the street violations, camping on the street violations, and really tied their hands to um, uh, clearing the streets as they would view it. Stephen Graham is a criminal defense attorney. Today, he watched Mayor Nadine Woodward's press conference where she said the city needs to do more to prevent people from camping on sidewalks, under bridges, and in city parks. We know from feedback that people are nearly unanimous in their desire for something to be done about public camping. I think the ordinance could be problematic. It depends how it's, uh, you know, enforced by, by the police on the street. Uh, but it's certainly going to raise a lot of questions and dump a lot of new cases in our municipal courts, that's for sure. The Martin v. Boise decision has left cities asking if it's legal to prohibit camping in certain areas during specific times. Under the mayor's proposal, camping would be prohibited at all times under bridges near the river, in parks, and the entire downtown business improvement district. Every part of the map you see colored. Seems a little bit broad. The mayor's office is confident the proposed ordinance aligns with the Martin v. Boise ruling. Graham isn't so sure. It's a very muddied area of the law. It's going to be a mess uh, for our courts to try to work on this, resolve it. Um, you know, I would just encourage the city to be cautious about this. And Mayor Woodward says the city has access to $25 million in commerce funds. She says the city has 30 days to come up with a plan for how to use that money to relocate people off of property.